hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be all about a fenugreek and hibiscus hair rinse so uh first of all do not come for my boiler okay because me and this boiler go way back <laughs> but i promise you i mean it has that stuff on but it's clean it's just from use over the years all right so let's get this recipe started all right as you can see i've put the herbs inside of the let me turn this light on As you can see, I have now put the herbs inside of the boiler. For every one teaspoon of hibiscus, I put two teaspoons of fenugreek. But actually, in this specific recipe, I put one and a half teaspoons of fenugreek. So, yeah, just adjust it to whatever your hair wants and whatever you think your hair wants. Sorry, my nose is a little stopped up, so that's why I sound kind of weird. Now what you're going to do is grab some distilled water. Or you can, you're welcome to use the water to come straight out of your tap. Um, you know, it's purer than the tap water. So I'm just going to pour a little more. I'm really eyeballing it, but if you would like to use measurements, I would say about one to two cups of water for this mix. See, the water is already starting to kind of change colors. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can tell on camera, but I can definitely see it. So now what you're going to do is get your stove, turn it on, and you're going to bring this water to a boil first. So you want to put it on one of the highest settings, one of the top three settings, just to make sure it heats up pretty fast. And then once it gets to a boil, you're going to want to turn it, turn down the stove to get the water to a simmer, and you'll let it simmer for about 30 minutes to an hour. After you've brought it to a boil, you're going to want to put this on it. Put a top on it just to secure the oils and you know juices from the herbs all right so here we are with our done hibiscus and fenugreek rinse as you can see the liquid is very red now well pinkish red or whatever i don't know when i'm looking in real life it looks redder than what it is showing on the camera but yeah, so my next step would be to drain this stuff out with either a cheesecloth or what I'm going to be using because I don't have any cheesecloth. Using this. Okay, so now I'm going to take this strainer, sit it over my bowl. You want to use a heat safe bowl or just let your mixture cool down completely. I'm impatient, so I'm touching this. I can honestly touch it so it's not too hot. At least not hot enough to burn through plastic. And you want to be really careful, especially if you don't have one of those pour, like, spout thingies. Okay, they told me this was going to smell like maple syrup. It really just smells like beans. <laughs> Llama beans, is to, to be specific. It looks like red wine. That's how you know your hibiscus mix it will do great if it's this red. If it's a little lighter, that's fine too, but you know, this will do the best. This will do the most justice. Now, as you can see, it's really not a lot. This is just enough for me to spray on my hair and um, prepare it for some oil. So yeah, I'll be back with the rest of the ingredients. So for my essential oils, I will be using lemongrass and rosemary. Rosemary is for uh, to prevent hair fall and increase hair growth. Lemongrass pretty much does the same thing. Um, if you would like, you can go ahead and just look this up on your own and figure that out which one you would like. But I'm just going to use both because they have great properties. Now with this, you're going to add about five drops of the rosemary. Since this is not a lot of liquid, I'm just going to do five drops instead of like the regular 10 or 15 that people do. And plus I'm also going to be adding this as well. So I'm going to do five drops of each. Well, that was six, but, you know, it's, it's okay. <laughs> Ooh. I've never really smelled rosemary oil before. Woo. That's some strong. I'm going to add five drops. Now, rosemary doesn't smell good, and it doesn't really smell bad, but it is a strong smell. 
So this lemongrass essential oil helps to like mask it because this is also a strong smell, but it smells good to me. So now I'm gonna take this spoon, I'm gonna rinse it off first. Take the spoon we used. Oh crap, I wonder was I supposed to use metal? Mm -mm. I don't know. I don't want it to react bad, so I'm just gonna use a plastic spoon to stir it. And now it smells more bearable. This is this is definitely taking over the scent, like I mentioned earlier. Woo! This is strong. Maybe I should just put two drops. <laughs> if you're gonna use it the day that you make it, you can just literally keep it in this bowl and then just pour it on your hair and massage it in and stuff. You want to let this treatment sit on your hair for at least 15 to 20 minutes just to get the full benefits from the fenugreek and the hibiscus. Some people will think just because it's liquid, it's not really going to do anything. But I promise you, I haven't even tried this, but I just know from um, the properties of these herbs that they're going to make my hair feel really, really good, especially if I let it sit on there with a little bit of heat applied. And actually, I'm kind of thinking to myself, like, I might, I think I'm going to do a clay wash with this mixture. I'm going to add a little bit of bentonite clay to this and then pour it into my applicator bottle and I'm going to do a clay treatment. Thank you for watching this video and if you found this recipe helpful, please let me know If you found this recipe helpful, please let me know down in the comments so that I know what kind of content to keep on making Do you guys like stuff like this? Do you want to know more natural remedies you could use for your hair or what? Just let me know what you guys like um, Also, be on the lookout for my next video because like I said before I am now going to add that mixture to a clay wash so I'm pretty sure you guys do not want to miss this video because it's really going to be helpful and it's going to help out your hair even more. <laughs> Alright, see you guys in the next video.